Hi guys, this is Valt, or aka Fusion Design One, and basically today I'm gonna bring you tutorial number four. Oh, I can't even remember. Uh, I think it's tutorial four, and today we'll be covering um, the clone source panel um, and clone overlays. Uh, yeah, tutorial number four, um, and. It's quite useful if you have something that you want to. Um, you have something on one image, but you want to bring it onto the other image, but you don't want it to be so kind of obvious. You want it to kind of clone it, but kind of blend it in. Uh, so, yeah, that's what we'll be covering today in the tutorial. Remember, click on the link if you're watching it in the tutorial community, give me a sub. Um, basically, I just wanted to mention I got this pop up from YouTube today saying I should apply for a partnership uh, due to my last tutorial was kind of popular but if you know if you guys know anything about it if you're I'm likely to get it or anything just leave in a comment um, so yeah let's get on with the tutorial um, okay so what you want what you want to do is maybe get an image two images actually uh, one in which you have I don't know clouds um, just clouds in the sky, and one of which you have kind of a plain sky. Because what we're going to do is take the clouds from here and place them here into this clear sky and turn it into cloud <coughs> Um So yeah, wh what what we're going to use is this button here. Just called if it's right like that. Uh, remember, right click and go clone stamp tool. Um, what it basically does is it takes the cloud from here and you can create an overlay onto this image here. Um, I think if I'm correct, this tool was brought into Photoshop and CS3, um, but it was firstly made for video editors, I think. Um, uh, yeah, um, so, yeah, let's start, okay, sorry. If you want it to be kind of really obvious, which I don't understand why someone would want that, but yeah, uh, it leaves really hard edges if you, when you clone it in. But if you want it to kind of blend in, choose that one. Um, I think this is a pretty good size. Now, what you want to do is go to Clone Source, click on Clone Source, make sure you have Show Overlay and Clipped um, uh, selected. But if your computer is really slow, you might want to unclick this. Is just so you can see what you're putting there. Uh, sorry, um, yeah, basically you want to go show overlay and clip, make sure you have that checked. Now, on this image of the clouds, what you're going to want to do, remember how this selected, um, you click, you, sorry, not click, you press the all button, so this, um, this kind of pointer pops up, and maybe choose somewhere in the clouds which you would want to come up first and maybe I think here would be good and then click again uh, you should have that like you saw that cross there um, so this makes kind of a, a clone of that this part of the image and now if I if you can see there it kind of blends in but to put it down you have to you know click and kind of there we go, um, and it slowly, the image slowly kind of comes together, and remember you don't want it to be kind of too obvious, and the size of this image <coughs> wasn't too good, so it doesn't really fit, but yeah, uh, might want to get a bigger image if you're doing this for a speed art but no competition or something. Um so yeah. So you just kinda drag it along the image you can see it starts coming looking pretty nice. Um and sometimes it's good to kinda leave the 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 white areas around the the rock. It kinda I find it looks kinda nicer than kinda pulling it all the way down makes it, I don't know, it, leaving the white 
ma makes it look like there's a bit of um, light or something coming off the rock, which is obviously not true, but yeah, you get my point. Um, so yeah, that's, you can see, I mean you could just leave there, blurry, it kind of adds the effect, but I'm just doing it to show you what will actually happen. So if you do it completely, the edges become really hard, which you can see there. Um, but um, I guess you can just, if that happens, no you can't do that. Uh, maybe you could do a bit of the smudging tool. Um, what is it? Let's smudge it until there, there we go. Uh, yeah, it's not ready for this type of image. Um, but yeah, remember, don't go too hard on the on the edge. Don't pull it too hard. Maybe choose a bigger picture than I have. Um, yeah. So it looks quite nice. Um, you can see that the part that appeared here was roughly um, was kind of around this area here, which I'm pretty sure you can see that around there. Uh, it looks quite nice. It kind of leaves a little bit of sky at the bottom. Obviously this part is pretty horrible on the side, but you get used for the you understand now the use of this button here, which most people don't even understand what it does. But now you do. Um so basically yeah that's tutorial number four. Um remember if you're watching this on the tutorial tutorial community maybe click the link, uh give me a sub if you one. Uh, I just wanted to quickly say, I um, I recently reached. I think today actually, I recently uh, got to three hundred subs. Um, just wanted to say like thank you. Um, and I think a lot of the subs came from uh, my last tutorial, which was posted onto both. Um, iGraphic Master and Tutorial Communities channel. Uh, you can see my tutorial in Photoshop too. If you haven't seen it before, uh, if you haven't seen it before, just go into the playlist Photoshop and it's this one here. Um, and here, this this one here is my tutorial post on iGraphic Master and. As it says here, I was just 2k contest winner. Well, I wasn't really a winner, I came third, but yeah. So I'm the prize is that free upload. So that was my upload. And I think I got quite a lot of subs, which is why this thing popped up. I remember, you know, maybe if you can explain this, why it's there. Because I don't think I would ever get a partnership with only 300 subs. But, um,. Yeah, uh, if you got any tutorial um, ideas, maybe leave a comment in the video, uh, or PM me if you want. Um, yeah, uh, also, I think I'll be releasing maybe something to do with uh, music particles, you know, syncing them together uh, somewhere, I don't know, Wednesday, Thursday, and maybe another tutorial this weekend. Um, so yeah, uh, if you can get back to me on this tutorial, if it was any good, if you found it helpful, um, yeah, thanks. Bye.